What's going on everybody? It's Chris and Micah and we are doing our first hike in Glacier National Park in Montana. Now this hike has been pretty darn hard. We've gone about six miles so far and what's the elevation change? No what? idea. It'll show on the screen. Yeah, we'll, we'll show the elevation. But this hike has been really, really hard. But as you can see, we have these beautiful mountains in the background. We're sitting by this wonderful stream. You can see Michael Vaughn. And we're almost to the top of our first hike, which is really exciting. We were driving around yesterday and we showed some of the pans on how unbelievable Glacier Park is. But we're gonna go to a nice swimming, swimming hole, swimming area yeah. after this uh, and get in the water, which is freezing cold. But I think after this hike, it's going to be really, really enjoyable. So we're going to go finish up this hike. Make sure we show you all the view of the final result. And then we're going to head back down and get ready for our very, very cool time in the lake. So we made it to the top of the Sherry Filet. What is it? <laughs> it's got it. Got it in one. <laughs> Whatever. Trail. But it's just a beautiful view. And we'll have some amazing pans to show you on the way up. Uh, and funny enough, there's actually like a little village here. <laughs> there's like a little uh, like lodging place and a little like snack place. And there's bathrooms and running water. And it's, it's just really, really funny to get to the top of this really difficult hike. I mean, I think this is the hardest hike we've done this trip and see this little village. I think it's hilarious. So, Michael, what did you think of the Sherry Sprelet hike? <laughs> well, we got to the top and had each a glass of lemonade. Mm -hmm. I had a they cookie. They have lemonade up here. <laughs> Get lemonade and cookies for, for doing a good job at a hike. Uh, and it's wonderful. I'm and having they, a great time. And they do have a free water spigot, so we refilled our water bottles but I'm, I'm shocked by the number of people up here. The people who were working in the little food stand, they said they live up here. They come up July 4th and then they stay for the summer, which I just think is incredible. I can't make sense of it in my head, but it's just a, a gorgeous view. This hike was hard. I think this was the hardest hike we've done so far. He almost gave up. No, I never, I was slowing down, but I never gave up. So any final comments? Let's stay. No, we can't, we can't stay. I need internet. So Michael and I are on our way down from the peak, whose name I can't pronounce. Sperry Chalet. Sperry Chalet, Michael says. But we just wanted to show you a little bit what the trail is like going up. I couldn't really record just because it was really difficult and I was really tired. Um, but now we're on our way down and so it's much easier. And so as you guys can see, the trail's got just a little bit of grass on each side. It's reasonably thin, but it's not too bad. But while you're going, you get to be up near the mountain. You just kind of get to watch it for a good portion of the way down. At one point, it does get into a little bit more of like a tree area where you can't quite see the mountain as well. But for now, it's just beautiful. So today is day three in Glacier National Park. Day one, we did that long hike called the Sperry Chalet. Is that what it was? Uh, yes. All right, I got it right. And uh, yesterday, we tried to get in the park. We had to do some stuff in the morning, uh, just to prep, get food, that kind of stuff. And then we tried to get in the park. And uh, by the time we tried to get in, the park was like, quote unquote, full. They just have one road here, so it gets full. And uh, we weren't allowed in, so we just did some cooking and I had some class stuff at night. So today is day three and our last day here. And what is the trail we're doing today? Old Man, uh, yeah, Old Man Lake. Old Man Lake. So it's a six mile trail, right? Six miles. Six, uh, 12 miles total. Yeah, 12. So six there, six back. And uh, 2,000 elevation compared to the 3,500 elevation in that first hike. So this one for me, <laughs> has been a lot more enjoyable. And so we've just been going through, we've seen some really pretty views of the mountains. One of the things we've noticed today is there seems to be some smoke in the air. And apparently that's from the fires 
out west and then the smoke blows over here. And then uh, we also, on our trail here, we met this really nice woman named Jamie. And we got to have a short conversation about, with Jamie about Jesus and about Christianity. It was cut a lot shorter than I would have liked. We never got to go through um, exactly who Jesus is, who he says he was, and what he did for us. But we pray that the short conversation that we did have was enough to spark an interest and that the Lord will lead her heart and that she'll be humble and be able to see the truth. So we just, uh, we would ask for you guys to pray for Jamie too, because we've been praying for Jamie. So, so I really like this one. Uh, one of the things with the other hike, the Sperry Chalet hike, was for a good portion of the hike, you were basically just surrounded by trees. You couldn't really see anything too interesting. And in this hike, it's lower elevation, so it's not as hard, but you also get these nice little peaks where you can see the mountain. You guys can see it out there. So it's a little bit more open, which I really like. So we're gonna keep heading down this trail. And as always, as we see cool stuff, we'll bring you back in. All right, so Michael and I finished the trail. It was about six miles one way, and we made it to the lake, which Michael says is called Old Man Lake. And it is just really, really, really beautiful. It's in like this big gorge, which is super, super cool. But the hike was really nice. Um, not nearly as hard as the other one we did the other day. A little bit shorter. I really enjoyed this one. I would say I like this hike more than the other one. What do you think? Uh, no, but I did enjoy mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. This... All right. So what did you like about the uh, Sperry Chalet more than this? The difficulty. I okay. wasn't, I didn't know I could do a hike as hard as that one. Yeah. So I, I think, I think I like maybe hikes that are a little bit easier than the one Michael likes, but this one was totally worth it. I love this view. It's very, very beautiful. We'll have pans to show you guys exactly what we're seeing, but it's just amazing. So we're gonna, we ate lunch here. There's a nice little dunes area. You can see we just parked right there, ate our lunches. And now we're going to head back. So. What's going on, everybody? As you can see, we are recording in our car, which we usually don't do. So a little bit of the situation is uh, we left Glacier a couple of days ago, and we drove over to Mount Rainier to do our first hike in Mount Rainier. And right as we finished our first hike, we go to turn our car on, we turn the battery, not even a click, not even a turnover of the engine. Uh, and what we figured out is that our positive cable has a little bit of a crack in it. And so there's no connection between it and the alternator isn't charging the battery. So we were super, super blessed by God. Um, we were able to find a really nice young man who helped us jump our battery. And we drove over to the only time I've ever seen a Walmart right next to a Planet Fitness. We're just stuck here for about a day um, to get the replacement part. And then we'll be right back on the road back to Mount Rainier. And that's why we're recording in our car. So we just read Mark 12, and Mark 12 has a lot of different parables that Jesus tells, and then a lot of different examples of different scribes and Pharisees coming to Jesus and asking him different questions, either to prompt him or sometimes to hear what he has to say. And my favorite of those is when the scribe asks Jesus, which are the best commandments? And Jesus speaks with such authority that everybody else kind of stops asking him and goes, all right, we, we can't do any more here. That's my favorite. Did you have a favorite section in it? Uh, I would say just to grab another one than what Chris answered. Another part that I liked was uh, when he kind of was explaining to them the concept of the Father, the Son, and the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. He actually poses the question, to the leaders uh, asking, how is it that the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself said in the Holy Spirit, the Lord said to my Lord, sit on my right hand until I put your enemies beneath your feet. So David himself is praying to God. How is it that God can be the son of David? 
And so, again, that is just kind of introducing this concept of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and they don't have an answer for him. They don't fully understand this concept yet. Mm -hmm. So that's just an interesting part. So we really enjoyed this chapter. Um, I felt like as we were going through it, it's just like awesome Jesus parable, awesome Jesus parable, awesome Jesus parable. So now what are your thoughts on Glacier National Park and where do you feel like it ranks mm -hmm. according to the other parks? So Glacier was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The first thing we did when we arrived was we took the whole Road to the Sun, which is the mm -hmm. main road yeah. within Glacier. And that's just amazing view. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris was driving for, I think, all of it, and it's a pretty tough road. So I definitely got to enjoy more of it. But there's certain uh, like waterfall spots where water's just bursting out of uh, the rocks. And that's super beautiful. And going from the east to the west, you're going like downhill through the mountains. And it's just amazing. You're up high and you get to see the whole valley and everything. Mm -hmm. The issue that I found with that is that basically Glacier has one main road and it's a pretty tough road. So to maneuver through it, we actually took uh, Route 2, which is below the National Park, to kind of get from one side to the other just because it's a little faster. The other issue is it doesn't look like there are that many places to park within the National Park to get uh, to the good trailheads. So we also had to maneuver around that. Other than those setbacks, again, just an absolutely beautiful national park. We had some really, really good hikes. I would say my second and third favorite hikes behind the one at the Rockies. If I could recommend one thing for Glacier National Park, it would be the Road to the Sun. I mean, it, it, it's not a hike, it's just a drive, but you get to see basically the whole thing. I don't think I've ever seen a place where there are valleys so low that transition exactly right into mountains so high. So it's really unbelievable to be driving through. And the two hikes were really good. I found them really hard. They were hard. Um, but the Sperry Chalet was a really good hike and at the end it's awesome that you have this little cabin with cookies and lemonade and everything so that was a lot of fun i would rank glacier national park as the third best national park i like michael said i really love the badlands then i go with the rockies um and then glacier so it's definitely worth going to and then i would say after glacier yellowstone i like yellowstone mm -hmm, a lot but mm -hmm. i think i like glacier more so those are kind of our top four right now Mm -hmm. And we are about to go to Mount Rainier. Right after we get our car fixed, we'll do that. And we'll have a review for that as well. So I'm mm -hmm. curious to see where that'll fall. Thank you guys all for joining us as we've been going through our trip. If you've enjoyed this content, please leave a like for this video. And if you have any questions on any of the national parks, leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, have a blessed day.